Hi everybody, this is Ethan Ballinger again, and I'm going to be showing you some C++ uh, programming tutorials. Um, today we're just going to do a standard uh, temperature conversion. Um, I just decided to do um, convert from Celsius to Kelvin. Um, and it's you can do it a lot easier than this. I just decided to use a function. Um, and so I have my function here. I call it C to K, uh, and it's going to produce a double. So it's going to read in our C, add the 273.15 to it, because that's what it does. Um, and we return it here for our function. And then in our main, we see out, please enter a degree value in Celsius to be converted to Kelvin. Um, we declare our double and we read it in uh, right here and then we call the function right here C to K and by calling that function we don't have to we don't have to set up a loop to where it'll uh, produce the action again we can just call the function every time and uh, it performs this function when we call it it um, reads in our C value, adds a 273.15 to it, and then returns the value. <coughs> and um, then we see out converted to Kelvin is blah blah blah. Keep window open because we're in Windows. Um, I'm going to run it just to show you all what I'm talking about. Um, please enter a degree value in Celsius to be converted to Kelvin 40 degrees. There we go. Um, and then exit. Um, well, let's say we don't return this. We'll just comment it out and see what happens. We get an error. Uh, the error is C to K must return a value. Um, because we didn't return this value, this K value, we, it's just floating in space basically. We perform this action but we're not returning the value so it, it's basically a dead function. So we have to return this value and for the function to work. So here the code is one more time. Easy temperature converter. You can do anything with this. You can change this from Celsius to Fahrenheit. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah. Temperature converter in three minutes. Thanks.